Hi everyone, it's Alexander Platt again from the LSO, here for another installment of 30 Days of Symphony. Well, I hope you enjoyed that performance we gave early last month of what is probably the most famous symphony ever written, Beethoven's Fifth. We're now gonna go back to the beginning, indeed, the beginning of the beginning, to a form that really was the basis from which the, that thing we call the symphony grew and flourished. I'm talking about the Italian Baroque Concerto, that form that was invented and flourished in the 17th and early 18th centuries all over the Italian peninsula. Now, of course, Italy has been in the news a lot these days, but it's so easy for us to forget something that people in the 18th century knew all too well, that Italy is truly the foundation of what we call Western civilization. Art, music, theater, literature, religion and philosophy. Indeed, all roads really did lead to Rome. So it was only natural that it was this form of the concerto as practiced by such great composers like Corelli and Vivaldi that became the basis of a symphonic form just a few decades later, north of the Alps. But when we think of the Italian concerto of the Baroque age, there of course is no greater example than Antonio Vivaldi's The Four Seasons, this group of four violin concertos that he consciously uh, wrote as depicting the four seasons of the year, from spring to summer to autumn to winter. These works have become so famous, so universally beloved that they have inspired other works in turn. The most famous example of this is probably the four fantasias that the Argentine tango master of the mid 20th century, Astor Piazzolla wrote, works which he called the Four Seasons in Buenos Aires. It has become these days a fabulous tradition, a new tradition to juxtapose Vivaldi's Four Seasons with those Four Seasons down in the Southern Hemisphere of Astor Piazzolla. And there is truly no greater artist today who is an exponent of this tradition than that force of nature we know as the violinist Lara St. John. Last season, she joined us for what was an equally memorable concert, actually a chamber orchestra concert up in Viroqua, where she played these eight concertos, Vivaldi, Piazzolla, etc., from spring to winter as a, a single continuous thought. And it's that performance that we'd like to share with you right now.